Hello friends and welcome to Global Defense, in today's podcast we will discuss about The Israeli military verified that a cruise missile launched by the Houth has landed in proximity to Eilat, Israel. Nevertheless, it's worth noting that several other Iran-aligned groups in the region possess cruise missiles capable of reaching Israeli territory. The Houthis have launched numerous ballistic missiles and drones toward Israel since October, with Israel's air defense systems and the U.S. Navy successfully intercepting some of them. The utilization of cruise missiles, such as the Quds-3, by the Houthis presents a unique challenge due to their capacity to fly at low altitudes and maneuver along unpredictable trajectories. Beyond the activities of the Houthis, there are indications that Iran has provided assistance to Hamas in Gaza for the development of cruise missiles. Additionally, Iranian-backed militias in Iraq were discovered with Quds-2 cruise missiles, and they claimed responsibility for targeting Haifa with an enhanced cruise missile dubbed al arqab The overarching Iranian strategy involves empowering various militias with advanced weaponry and local manufacturing capabilities. This strategic approach, often described as teaching a man how to fish, aims to reduce reliance on direct provisions from Iran and enhance the self-sufficiency of these groups. Iranian support has played a significant role in bolstering the missile capabilities of different groups, including Hezbollah and Hamas, over the years. For instance, Hezbollah has amassed a substantial arsenal of surface-to-surface missiles with some equipped with precision guidance systems. Moreover, there is growing military collaboration between Iran and Russia, which impacts the flow of arms to Hezbollah and other Iran-aligned factions. Hamas and Iraqi militias backed by Iran have made considerable progress in local weapons production, although they continue to receive substantial support from Iran in various forms. Despite the overwhelming military superiority of the United States and Israel, Hezbollah and its allies are anticipated to be significantly more effective in future conflicts compared to previous engagements. Efforts to counter the proliferation of advanced weaponry should involve diplomatic. The recent atrocities by the Israeli military in the Gaza resulted in the death of more than 34,000 people will further escalate the conflict as Israel has now destabilized the entire region by waging a brutal war against the Palestine. This necessitates comprehensive approaches that address political, economic, and social challenges, while promoting inclusive governance and respect for human rights from both the Israel as well as from Iran. So friends, this was about today's podcast, if you like our podcast do subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to support unbiased independent journalism. Thank you for listening.